Well, how do there, chums? I'm back inside of Tower of a Gasba, and um, I'm going to be heading up the coast, and I'm going to be trying to hand in all of these items. So I have got all of this stuff. I also might go a little bit further north and hand in the giant's eye drops to this guy here. Hold on. Let me just uh, go there. So, yeah, there's a giant eye drops that I can hand in there. I need the dung, and I need greater fertilizer. To make the greater fertilizer, and five of them at that, I'm going to need a heck of a lot of dung to do that as well. So there's a lot of shite collecting in this game. But yeah, I'm going to be going here first and uh, turning in that. Okay, so um, we're here at the moment. So it's a bit of a trek north. So hopefully, you know what? Let's, let's do this together. Let's do the whole trek on foot up the coastline so you can see the sights. I mean, this is my new coastal town. I've got like giant windmills here and everything. I mean, look at it. It's freaking awesome. It's beautiful, this. So yeah, anyway, we'll go do a little bit of sightseeing and we'll head up, up the coast and we'll see if we can get to that location just on foot. Ah, I like this little guitar that you got going in the background and the sound of the waves. It's just such a beautiful, relaxing jaunt, this. And I just want you to take in some of the sights and sounds that, you know, I enjoy while playing this game and why I enjoy playing this game. I mean, even the chore of walking this landscape isn't a chore when your jaw is on the floor. There you go. Rhyming that, wasn't it? Oh, look, there's um, a nice iron boulder there. Might as well take advantage of that on the way, I guess. Iron comes in handy for building quite a lot of the later sort of tools and things that you need on a day to day. So if I see any decent resources like that, there's a coal mound there. So coal's pretty good to have anyway. Yeah, pretty nice. Let's head on up the coast. Hopefully we might see some more clay. There, I have found lots of clay inside of the water while going for swims looking for kelp. So that was quite cool. Oh, hold on. What's this over here? What the flying fudge? There's a whole frickin' arc in the water here. What the... Okay. I've been here a few times, people, but I have came here at, at, like, night, so I didn't see all that. And I jumped in the water after running. I got excited. I need to get back to shore and get my breath back. I'm knackered. Yeah, you want some? Take it. There you are. Frickin' git. It looks like we might have to go over there and have a look what that is. It looks like a giant freaking arc or something. What the heck? Okay. All right, well, I guess we're climbing up here anyway. But we're going to go look at that arc in a moment as well, people. Because why not? Well, I was supposed to parachute then and glide. All right, we're going up this rock face. And I think we're near. I can see the orange, like, little mini menu list anyway. Can I stand there for a second, get a breath back? Yes, I can. Cool. And away we go again. I mean, this, this music is very sort of relaxing, isn't it? I think I might have overshot where I needed to go to, actually. Yeah, I have. Just got to go south a little bit then. That's actually the secondary location we're going to. Okay. Let's just get on this little ledge here. Let's see if we can make a, a jump for it. So we're going to be rebuilding this. I don't really know what this is, but we're rebuilding it anyway. Sometimes when you rebuild things, you get something out of it. Other times it's just a little additional vista, some sort of landscape to take advantage of. Let's have a look. Let's see what it does. So this is the Maraku statue. Let's see what it looks like once completed then. Oh, lovely, jubbly! Well, that's cool. I got a new decorative piece for my own base building. Let's have a look around, see if it's gifted me anything else at all. Sometimes it can be a chest or something that might spawn, but no, it's just a nice little vista type thing. I mean, look at it. That is so cool. And it's not too far from my base, to be fair. Very awesome. Okay, well now that we've done that, I'm going to head a little bit north and just hand in the giant's eyes because I'm kind of worried that I might lose them or put them in a chest and forget which chest they're in. But I'm going to head back over that way where we just were. I mean, to that other orange menu that we saw. It means reclimbing this freaking mountain again, though, doesn't it? All right, well, uh, I can go around this way, to be honest. Now, I have got to get a lot of dung. I'm seeing that there's quite a few creatures here 
that eat root. Oh, look, that one's going to get freaking munched by a spider if he's not careful. Leave him alone, get back. Yeah, I'll teach him. Right, I have got some roots on me. I could feed these guys and collect their poop, but I haven't got much inventory space for their poop. So, you know, what? let's just climb up here. Let's do what I was going to do. Let's not get sidetracked. But I always get sidetracked on this game, people. I always end up doing things that... Oh, fudge. Okay, right. There's the nest here. Might as well get rid of that. See what I mean? Oh, give me my sword. Take that, monsters. Ah! That'll teach you, wouldn't it? Being a git. Right, here we go. Let's pump that full of this. Get rid of this nest. Ow! He tried to bite me. Did you see that? He tried to bite me. Well, more for him because I've got spiky armor on him. Yeah, it actually kills them, so yeah, bite me as much as you like, mate. Okay, let's head this way then. That never used to be a thing, though. Those thing those spiders used to kill me early game. I've still got the music playing as if I'm being hunted by something. I don't know what could be hunting me up here. Oh well. Whatever it is, it's still after me. Right, let's just climb up this then. Hopefully we'll see where I can turn this little orange thing in. Jeez, Louise. Need to get my breath back. There we go. More stamina, whatever. There we go. Oh, fudging heck. Seriously? Oh, fudge, no. I hate it when you get to the top of a mountain and there's nowhere to actually perch. Right, okay, let's have a look at the map then. So yeah, I need to go over this mountain and straight over the opposite side. I think this is about as high as we're going to get. And can we see where we've got to glide to? I'm guessing probably in the middle of this web of stuff. Okay, somewhere around here. Is one of those enchanted turds. Enchanted dung heaps. Ah, oh, there he is, I see him. You see all the rainbow coloured dots down there? That's him. Before I go there, though, I've just spotted a resource that I don't think I have. What is this? I don't think I've got that in my Shimudex. It's an amber chunk. I'm guessing I need an, an iron pickaxe. Let's give it a go. Still not letting me do it. Maybe I need a, an iron digger. Okay, I'll have to come back here with an iron dig thing. Spade dig thing. Fudging heck, Steve. All right, here we go. Let's uh, talk to this I thing now. Yeah, I'm going to hand in everything that I can so far. There you are, mate. And um, I do need to get a shed load of dung now, which, yeah. That's, that's not easy. There you go. Craftable in the alchemy station at Midhaven. It's not in the alchemy station. It's not. It's in the composter and it's not at Midhaven. It's wherever you've built them. But I wonder if it might be cheaper at the alchemy station in Midhaven. But I don't think it's there. I think that's incorrect text. And then we've got to get 75 dung from creatures. But if I'm right in thinking, greater fertilizer needs a shed load. A shed load of dung. Anyway, at the moment, you can probably tell that the music's all bugged out. So I'm going to hit save. And, and then I'm going to do the unstuck, which will take me back to my nearest town. OK, so I'm back at my coastal town. Now, I have got a place here for making cob, making fertiliser. And I'm fairly sure the big fertiliser is right here. There it is, the greater fertiliser. So you can use dung and kelp. Now, I've got quite a lot of kelp to make it but I'm gonna need 15 dung for each one. Now you need five of these things. It looks like you might get two for doing that. So I can make I can make four, but I'm one kelp short of making three and I'm gonna need 45 dung. Then I need a further 75 dung to give to the actual dung heap. So that's a, that's a lot, that's a lot of freaking dung. So I need to go feed a load of creatures, but I do want to go to Midhaven very quickly and see if it is in the alchemy crafting table, because I don't think it is. Hey, I'm back at Midhaven. Let's head on over and let's see if great, great fertilizer's in here, because if it is, maybe it might be easier to make. Oh, it is there, and you get three. 
Okay. And you only need one kelp, coral, row, and I've got loads of stinky cat. I can make six. Perfect. And look how quick that was. Are you having a laugh, mate? I've got three of them. How comes I only got three when I asked for six? Maybe you can only store six at a time. Don't know. This is a bit weird, isn't it? Okay. Let's just scrap that. What else shall I scrap for now? Oh, I'll eat these. And maybe get all my health back. And I'll go back and see if... Because I did seem to make six, right? Yeah, it says five there, doesn't it? Right, I'll make all of them. Right, I've got shed loads of that now. We've got tons of it. I've got 15 of it! Freaking hell, I've gone over the top on that. Didn't need to make that much. All right, well, we've got loads of it now. Um, <laughs> whoops. Okay, um, so we've got that. Now I need to make a load of dung. It's a shame that you can't break this down and get dung out of it. That would be a really good way of getting a shed load of um, dung, wouldn't it? Hmm. Okay, all right, well, now I need to feed a load of creatures, which could take me a lifetime. Okay, I've got a good way of feeding creatures, though, which I'll share with you guys. At least it's the best way that I've found so far. There's probably a better way that you guys might know of. You know what, first I'm going to sleep until morning. So I'm at my mining town. Now, I plant a few common seeds, and you get some of these roots grow. When you dig these roots up, you actually get given roots, funny enough. That's so. There you go, I get some more roots there. And roots... There's these weird little rat-type looking creatures that run about the place. And they are quite... they frequent this area quite a lot. Let's see if we can see one running around just as I'm picking up these other roots over here. But yeah, they kind of come close to this area. Well, they used to. Uh, I don't see any coming around at the moment. Where are they? They're usually everywhere. But anyway, I quite like this arid landscape because it is quite arid and empty. Got to be a bit careful because there is a predatory creature that can come quite close. So what I usually do, I'll show you what I usually do anyway. We'll just see if it works. Right, so I just stand somewhere over here, like somewhere in this little circle. Oh, there's one. There's one. I just saw one. If I pick up the roots right now, so here we go. They're in, they're in my pocket. I throw these down, and what I tend to do is just put them around here. Kind of where I can see them, like in this brickwork. I mean, I can still pick these up, even if you can just about see them. Okay. And then I just... wait! But I just leave my controller alone. And those little creatures usually come running in and eat these. I go and make a cup of tea, I come back, and then I'm surrounded by dung. But usually, as soon as I throw these down, you see these rainbow lines appear, like they're, they're, they're homing in on it. But for whatever reason, now that I'm doing this as a bloody video, they've decided, no, Steve, we're not playing game today. <laughs> it's like they're not spawned in for some reason. All right, well, let's pick all these up. And you can do something similar where you do see them. Um, so I could go back to uh, uh, back to the very first zone and do it there, I suppose. But yeah, normally I just do it there. Get a load of those little guys come in. Whatever reason, they're, they're not doing it today. Get bags. All right. Okay, I can see the little creatures running around here. The same sort of creatures as before. Now, the only reason I don't like doing it out in the wild so much is because I've had predatory creatures come and kill me before while I've been away from my desk. So, yeah, this can be a little bit more finicky. Anyway, let's, uh, let's get it equipped. Let's get the roots equipped. And let's see if it works. 
So I'm just going to put them around here. There you go. That's the lines that I'm on about. So I just stick all those down there. There we go. We've got some poop already. And you get some temperate seeds as well. Oh no, my inventory is full. All right. Well, I better scrap something then. Uh, um, what can I scrap? Oh, it's knowing what you're not going to need, isn't it? All right. Well, I could drink the milk. There we go. Making room for dung. So it's a case of just sort of, you know, sitting here and waiting now. I put a load right in front of me there. That'll do. Right, there's a stack of 30 there. And um, I'll just wait now. And hopefully, when I come back, there'll be some poo there instead of those. If not, I'll just pick all those back up and try it somewhere else. And that's kind of how I've been getting my poop. Is Yeah, it's, it's usually on a timer. However, there's usually a lot more of those freaking creatures. I've usually got like at least two down there. What's going on today? This is weird. Oh, look, there's one over there. But he just doesn't seem bothered. All right, let's crouch. Just hide over here a bit. Maybe I'm too present. I don't know. Come on. Come get it. I can see them running around. Look, there's one. Come here, you, you get bag. Come on. Oi. Oh, he's just wandered off again. Maybe he's the one that already fed. Maybe he'll come back in a bit. Anyway, I'm going to go make a tea. Well, chums, I've come back and not a single dung. So this just really isn't working for me right now. And normally it does. I have a second location that I like to do this, but it's a little bit more dangerous. I've been killed here twice doing it over here. So, yeah, you see this like the, the foot of the mountains right here. So I put them around here. The only trouble is, is sometimes the creatures get a bit stuck. Like that, that guy up there. But yeah, around by these walls, in here, I'm not seeing them as much. There's usually loads of those little green rat-like creatures zipping about all over the place in here. Hmm. Something's a bit squiffy. Anyway, let's just throw them down here. Even these guys, though, they, they usually eat roots as well. Why is he not even interested? What the... Oh, there you go. He's working. And that guy up there, he would normally come... Well, he comes down for berries, but... There we go. At least we've got one dung there. But I'm just going to stand on this wall and put them down here. They should all roll in against this wall. And then I'll just pick them all up again if, if, if nothing comes. But those little green guys are usually in abundance. Those little rat type looking ones. They're all over the place in here usually. The day that I'm doing a video, they decide they're not going to play a game. How bizarre. I might just have to do it the real way where you scan the creatures and feed them to. Yeah, I might have to do this on foot because my way of just sitting here ambiently isn't working today at all. And that's that's that sucks. All right. But try it at home, people. Try it at home in some of these locations that I've shown you. And I think you're going to... I think you'll be more lucky than me. Because at the moment, it's, those little green guys just... They're not, they're not spawning in. Okay. So I guess we're going to do this the old-fashioned way. And just look for the creatures that like eating these things. Like, you see that guy over there? He likes these. Come get it. There you go. Something's got his attention. Oh, there goes one of the little green guys now! Well, I'm not trying to demo him. Yeah, because you get loads of temperate seeds as well from them. Okay. Well, there we are. Stick that there. Come on. Your turn. Come and eat it. So if I'm doing this on foot, what I do is I've got one large tree here. Okay. Where's the dung? There it is. So after I've fed all the creatures that like roots here, I run over this way. And I follow that big... I've got a load of trees going this way. And then I've got another one of those big trees down here. Look, you can see it just over the horizon. So I've got two trees near to each other. 
hopefully you guys have as well, but I just run from one area to the other, so I've got both connected. Head down, feed a couple more of the same sort of creature, uh, that um, weird two-legged guy. Hello, it's only me. These guys, I feed these. There you go, come get it. Oh, it's rolled all the way down there. Fair enough. I imagine my dung's going to roll the same way. There it goes. Hang on, I'm cutting down a tree now. Did I get the dung? I don't know whether I did or didn't. I really wish that the dung had, like, I don't know, some green fumes coming off of it and some flies or something. So we can see it a lot easier. You know? Ah, oh, now that I've swapped to my axe, I've got to then pick up the roots again. I should put them on my, my um, wheel when I'm feeding creatures, I suppose. That's my own fault. And yeah, and if you run around near these creatures, you can startle them and get some more poo out of them as well, which is always fun. There you go, stick that there. I'll put it on a flat surface this time. Why, why are you not even interested? Have it! You're having a laugh. What the fudge is that, making those loud growling noises? And after, the, if they're not interested, then I get the berries. And there's loads of berry bushes around here. Throw these down, and you're going to see that you know that. Oh, you get to see him. But normally there's that other one that likes eggs, but he usually lays an egg, and he can feed his his brethren. This guy, but he likes berries. Not he usually eats berries. Okay, the one that does like berries just went straight past the freaking berries. Come here, you, oi! I'm, I'm not a fan of feeding creatures, has to be said. Uh, I'm, I'm not very skilled at it, to be honest. That's why I usually just stand around and just let them feed them freaking cells. Right, I'm going to stick some berries here. Oh no! Wrong button. Okay. I'll put some berries there. And I, you just laid an egg. We'll have that. Well, some poo. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a mixture of berries and roots together. Just here. Little patch. Right, they're not rolling anywhere, they're not going anywhere, and then I'm just going to wait. And I'm going to see if that comes back with anything. Alright. Uh, cool. Anyway, I didn't grab a cup of tea last time. I got, I got sort of like way late doing something else. So I'll be right back soon. Oh, and just in case I do die, I'm just going to hit a save. Okay, alright. Okay, chums, I was away for a little bit longer that time. Made myself... A coffee! Yeah, I was going to a coffee. Lovely jubbly. And I can see it's worked this time. We've got ourselves some dung anyway. Stand up. Lovely. Um, there were still a couple of berries there. My inventory is full now. Okay, there's some berries. Lovely. Sweet. I'm saying my inventory is full for whatever else is there. What is it that I'm trying to pick up? A heavy horn. Oh, okay. A heavy horn. All right. Well, heavy horn is used to craft some pieces of armor. It's quite a rare drop. I'll, I'll scrap that, and then I can pick up the heavy horn. Okay. So that worked this time. And it's a case of just doing it again. So just a mixture of berries and roots. So here we go. I think the uh, roots did better than the berries. There we go. Let's uh, do that again then. Right, we've got some barret, we've got some roots there. Um, you know what, I've brought down some Nashu fruit as well. Because whatever they don't eat, I can just pick up again anyway, so it doesn't really, really matter. Put those on. Couple of berries. Oh look, the berries are popular this time. Let's brought in a couple. And have I got any mushrooms on me? Yeah, I've got some mushrooms. We'll throw some mushrooms down as well. This is better. This is what I expect to see. And then just I just wait here now. And um, I'll come back after I've drunk my coffee. And we'll see how much done we've got then. Hopefully it'll be uh, morning then. Okay, chum. So I've only been away for, what, what, five, six minutes? I've just drunk my coffee, that's all. And here you go, look at this. I'm picking up all my mushroom caps. Oh, hold on, there's another creature on its way over. I just want to get the dung, really. Oh, there's two creatures on their way over. 
So this is working a lot better here, you know? There you go, look, getting low more now. So they're kind of on like a, a cool down period, these creatures. So you can only feed them like every, I don't know, five to six minutes. Look at that, my inventory is full again. There's a, there's a sturdy hoof there now. I don't think I've ever seen a sturdy hoof in any of my recipes for anything. So, yeah, what shall I scrap now? It's a toughie. It's a toughie to know what to scrap and what not to scrap, isn't it? Hmm. I've, I've not used these ever, so I'll scrap them. There we go. We've got a sturdy hoof. Oh, there's some milk there as well, is there? Well, milk I can throw straight back down again. Is there anything else I can scrap that I'm not overly fussed about? I, I can get lots of coal. I'll scrap the coal. Okay, right. There we go. And you know what? It's working here, so I might as well carry on here. So, you know what? I'm going to throw the milk down. And the eggs. I'm going to throw the, those down. Get a few eggs this time. Where is that milk? There it is. I'll throw that down as well. I think the Nashu nuts even got taken. So let's equip those. Let's throw these down as well. And we're we'll throw down a load of berries. And I throw down the mushrooms. Oh, I ate one. I think I've still got one berry left as well. I suppose. Oh, I've got seven berries left. I might as well throw them all down. And if they don't get eaten, they don't get eaten. And there we go. And that's it. I've got a few other things to do right now. And I might go grab myself some lunch or something and come back and see what's there so as long as you've got things to do about the house or whatever or whatever if, if it i mean let's see how much dung i've got now i've got 51 dung 51 dung and i you know i haven't really been doing too much i need to get that to 75 though don't i so once we get it to 75 we get us ready oh well probably about another 10 minutes have passed i've just made myself a sandwich and here we go oh we just let him finish off what he's grabbing nice Brilliant. Let's collect our ill-gotten gains. There we go. We've all got loads of it this time. I guess. That's the shiz isn't it? We've still got loads of our bits of food that they didn't eat as well. Lovely. Well, there we go. Let's see how much dung we have now. We have 99 and 21. We've got loads. We've got loads and loads of dung. Perfect. There's some more there that I missed. Okay. Whoops, didn't mean to hit that. Okay, well I think we can go and head on over then to the delivery site now, can't we? Which is all the way over there. There we go, we've got more than enough. Oodles! Okay, I'll see you there, people. Now I remember, there was that amber node, wasn't there? But for me to get the amber, I need to have myself an iron shovel. So I might just go back to Midhaven and make an iron shovel real quick. But I'll, I'll see you back over here in a moment. I'll go to Midhaven, make my shovel, and then I'll, I'll get myself over there somehow. Well, chums, you know that that hole that I just scrapped? Um, I need that to make my iron rods. So I've had to come all the way back over here to get some coal. Yeah, this lovely stuff right here. Oh, I'm going to stand by it. Yeah, let's dig up this then. Let's get a load of coal. I'm going to get a load of coal so I can make some iron bars. And then I can use that coal and the iron bars to make myself my um, iron shovel. There's an iron rock there as well, so I might grab that while I'm here. Yeah, so I'm going to go to this portal because this one seems a bit higher up. And hopefully glide virtually all the way there. Hmm, I don't think I can glide there because there's a mountain in front of my glide route. Um... Uh... We can try our best though, can't we? Let's do it. Meow. We can try and head for that mid-range bit and hopefully just climb over half of it, maybe. There we go. Sweet. This looks like a fairly good area to climb. 
What was I land somewhere fairly decent? Land on that stumpy bit. Oh yes, we just made it. There you go, up this way. Climb, little guy, climb. On this way. Sweet. And over here. Come on. Up we go. Almost. There it is, down there. Cool. We're heading for that sort of like rainbow glittery bit. However, now I've got my iron tools, I'm going to head firstly to that amber node and see if we can have that little lump of amber. I have come across other lumps of amber on this same sort of structure uh, further north of the map. This is the only amber node I've seen on the Southern Isle. Let's see if we can harvest it now, shall I? Why can't I harvest it? What the fudge do you need to harvest this dang thing? Oh, I've got a pickaxe, I've got a shovel, here we go. But it's not the shovel that it needs then. I've even brought a steel one. No, it must need the steel pickaxe then. So I clearly but guess, it'd be nice if it told you what it bloody needed, wouldn't it? All right, okay. I could have, I could have crafted the still pickaxe instead. All right, anyhow, we're here to see this guy. Job, Jacuso, huh? Job, Jacuso, huh? Cool. There we go. Sounds like something out of Star Wars. That language, doesn't it? There we go. <laughs> okay, let's see him what he does now. Shimu, 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 and he's jumping into the ground. Let's see what sort of habitat I get here. It's probably one of those tropical ones. Now my friend Neil, who's also playing this, he's hit me up and told me that he's done these a few times and it's worth revisiting these areas because sometimes you get new creatures here. So although there might not be many resources, he said definitely go back after time and see what's there. So we will do. But if I do get any other seeds or anything, I'll be planting them here. Now last episode, what I said is we'll go and check out that Noah's Ark type looking thing over here and then I completely forgot to do it. So we're going to do that now I think people. I'm going to head on over there. What's that this episode? I get so confused with what I've put into videos and what I haven't. I think I just spied a treasure chest. One second, let's have a look. Flame! Yes I did spy a treasure chest, heck yes. Oh, we got an iron shovel! Isn't that what I just created? It is. Yeah, it didn't work on the, the dang thing, did it? Is there a new flying creature there right now? If there is, he's freaking miles away. He can stay there for now. I'll come back at some point, though, because look, there's an amber node there, and there's another one over there. And there's two amber nodes that I can spy with my little eye. Alright, I'm going to have to come back for amber at some point. Right. I guess we're trying to swim it then, are we, Steve? I guess we are. It's actually on the coastline of the other continent. Now, I did build a bridge. Okay, who needs bridges when you've got swimming arms? Um, this is craziness. What the fudge is this? Am I going to make it? There's more to the point. Looks like there's bits just floating in, in the air. It doesn't look like it's fully built, does it? You know, by the devs. Alright, well let's, let's have a look at this place then. Might have to rebuild this another episode, people. I don't know really what's going on inside of here. We're inside of it. Is there anything worth having inside of it? I don't see anything. I can hear little chiming noises like ching ching, ching ching. Maybe it's just different music. How bizarre. Uh, okay, let me out. Hmm. Kind of expected there to be some sort of shiny thing here saying rebuild this or something. Or some like relic marker. Oh, look, there's some birds flying over there. There's a shiny thing. That's what I was expecting to see. What the flying fudges? Oh my god, days. 
They look like they were turned to stone. Like, oh look, there's more birds over there. All right, we could have found a couple of relic sites then. Let's hit this then. Sweet. Oh, okay. Well, 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 we've completed one of the relics. Brilliant. All right, let's head on over here. Let's have a look if there's anything else to be had here. Look, there's loads of people like running around, and they've all been like petrified, turned to stone. What's that all about? That's sinister. Look at this guy. What the hell happened here? Is there a Medusa in this game? Were they real people? Can't imagine somebody making those out of stone. There we go, we've got like a another load of birds over here. There's loads, loads of statues of people. But the spirits of these Shimu were running from some calamity and been frozen in stone. Yeah. What an awful tragedy. The Withered. Okay, so this is another marking of the relic. So this is something that I've still got to complete. I've still got to try and find all the relics. Which means just exploring the map. This map is just littered with interest, interest and intrigue. There's so much to we can discover in this game. Every time I think I've seen it all, I realise that there's massive swathes that I haven't. Anyway, people, so in this episode, we've covered off quite a fair bit. We've covered off how I go about getting dung and vast quantities of it with doing very little. And hopefully that was enough to get you to subscribe. And if not, maybe these relics were. Until next time, goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.